Hello and welcome back to Morty Up Gaming. This is Andesino with another quick tutorial on how to get Game Pass on your MacBook or your iMac as well. This will work on most Apple laptops or computers. It takes literally about half an hour to sort out, but I'll go through all of the steps so that you are able to do it. Once again, make sure to like, subscribe and comment on this video as well. And without further ado, here's the tutorial. So first of all, you'll go into Safari or Google Chrome, whatever you use and we will type in Windows ISO file. So this will give us a link to the Dev.com website and we're just gonna go onto it and we're gonna download the ISO disk image. So once in there, Windows 10 is the only option that we have at the moment. Just click continue and it will ask you what language do you wanna get in? So obviously you choose whichever language is most appropriate for yourself. Now, it will give you two options of downloads, 32-bit or 64-bit. The main things you need to know is what your RAM is on your computer. If your RAM is less than four gigabytes, choose 32-bit. If it's more than four gigabytes, choose 64-bit. So my computer is 16 gigabytes, so I'm gonna choose 64-bit. So it will take a couple minutes to download. Yeah, I've, I've quickened it up just for time's sake. Now, once you've downloaded it, go into Applications, Utilities, and go to Boot Camp Assistant, which is the one that I'm hovering around now. Click on Continue. So on this screen, it will ask you how you want to partition your hard drive. So you have Mac on one side and you have Windows on the other. So you can choose to make your Windows uh, partition much higher, which I do advise to have at least 125 gigabytes on it due to the fact that it does take a lot of space to even install it in the first place. So you can just adjust the sliders. That's as far as I can actually go. So I'm gonna choose about 250 gigabytes or 253. And then once you're ready to complete, just click continue. Also, so just in case if it doesn't show the ISO file, you can click on this drop down menu here and look for the file that you literally just downloaded as well. So I click next. So now all it will be doing is downloading some software that you need to actually be able to run Windows on your laptop. So once this is completed, then we will move on to the next step. As soon as the bootcamp assistant has finished installing, your laptop will automatically restart and it will start opening up Windows. From here, you will now be able to start installing Windows onto your laptop. The main things to do is just follow the instructions. Anything that you prefer to have on, you can choose that on such as location services or giving away data. If you don't want that, of course, you can turn it off as well. And just make sure to set up your internet in the home page as well. All in all, depending on how quick your computer is, it can take from about 10 minutes to about 20 to 30 minutes to install Windows fully on your computer. Like I said, this bit is probably the longest bit in the whole process. It should take about 10 to 20 minutes roughly to install Windows, obviously depending on how quick your computer is. It will just ask you to go through certain settings, enter your PIN number if you want to do that. You can skip most of them as well if you really wanted to as well. But once this is all done, it will open up Bootcamp Assistant on Windows. Just click on Next and install Bootcamp Assistant on Windows. This should take another couple minutes as well. And once this is done, you're good to go. So now Windows is all set up. All we need to do is open up an internet browser and on Google, just type in Xbox app and go into the Microsoft website where it will give you a link to the Xbox app for Windows 10 PC. Just download this and we're just gonna click to install it. So this will take two, three minutes to install. And once it's installed, we'll be able to log in to Game Pass. So once that's finished installing, we'll click on Let's Go, and this will open up Xbox Game Pass for the PC. This should take a couple seconds to sort out. And that's it, now we have access to Game Pass on our Apple MacBook. So we will now just scroll through the Game Pass as you can see, all of the games that are available for Windows 10 are available on the MacBook now. And the good thing about it as well is any games that you do play on the Windows app, it will sync automatically with your Xbox account. So you can literally pick up 
wherever you've left off on your Xbox Series X or your Xbox One, Xbox One as well. So we're just gonna type in Ori due to the fact that the file for Ori is actually quite small. Just gonna download Ori in the Blind Forest. So just install Ori in the Blind Forest. Once that's finished installing, click on play. And there you have it. You have Ori in the Blind Forest now running on your Apple MacBook or iMac. And this will work with basically any other game that is on Game Pass as well. I was using Forza Horizon 4 and I was getting 60 frames per second constantly as well on my MacBook. So you don't really need a super PC to play these games. There is one last thing that you will need to do just to make sure that all your settings on your Mac side are all sorted out as well, which I'll show now as well. Once you finish using your Windows side for your computer, what you need to do is just click on to restart. And when your screen turns black, you will need to hold onto the options button on your MacBook and it will come up with two options. One will say bootcamp and the other one will say Macintosh. What you need to do is use the arrow button and go to Macintosh so that you can start your Mac again. So once you've got back onto your Mac side of the computer, what you will need to do is go back to applications, scroll down to system preferences and start up disk right at the bottom. Click here. So automatically your startup disk will be set to bootcamp. What we will just need to do is change it back to the Mac. You can leave it on bootcamp if you do prefer to start using Windows as well. But if you want to change it back to the Mac, click on the Mac and lock the change and restart the computer whenever you're finished and that is it. And there you have it. This is also with that. Once again, this is Andy Senior from Multitap Gaming. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, ask one of us. We'll be happy to help as well. And we'll see you soon. Take care and peace.